Good evening and welcome to Pathetic. Tonight's Dolt is an Ethel Merman impersonator who looks nothing like her. What else could we do but give her cosmetic surgery? Now get ready, because it's time to get pathetic with your host, Harper Sims. Can you tell us your name? Uh, yes, it's Martha Streep, like uh, Meryl Streep, but <laughs> no relation, I wish. Yeah, you can tell. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness? Um, no. Uh, some said that my mother was bipolar, but I don't believe it for a second. She was very eccentric, and she just knew what she liked. Okay. Yep. My mom had plenty of friends. So plenty of male I, friends? Um. Did she make you call a lot of men uncle? I thought she came from a big family, so I just... I no, it means they were banging her. Bang, bang, what? Banging her? Bang. Having sex with her. Having sex with your mum. No, my mom said she never had sex. Can we just cut? I, I just need... Yeah, we'll cut. Okay. <laughs> we're already you, cut. You have, to, you, ha you have to edit that part out. You can't talk about my mother and sex. She said no. And if she knew that I was talking about this right now, she'd find me. Just... I thought she yeah. was dead. She is. You obsessed with any other celebrities? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I wouldn't say obsessed. Um, I just enjoy them and I idolize them. Uh, Catherine Hepburn, for one. I do a great impersonation Who of would her. win in a fight um, between Catherine Hepburn and Ethel Merman? Well, they would never fight. They were ladies. When did you first hear Ethel Merman? And I do mean the real one, not the voice in your head. Well, to clarify, I don't hear them anymore. Um, praise Jesus. But it was at one of my mother's parties. And she did like to have her parties. Sorry, I get really emotional when I think of this. I came out of what we call my room. And I noticed the record playing was Ethel, and since then I've just wanted to embody her spirit. If she wasn't dead, what would you say to her? Oh, if she wasn't dead, uh, what wouldn't I say to her? Um, thank you. I love you. Um, Do you think I, she'd say I love you back? Oh, I know she would. She would absolutely love me. Did your mother Maybe, say that she loved you? Um, I, I just know Ethel would say it to me. Can you state your name, please? I am Dr. Smith, celebrated fortune teller and skilled plastic surgeon. Do you enjoy Ethel Merman yourself? Never heard of her. Me neither. I had to look her up on uh, Google. Um, Is she mer merman, like uh, with tail? But transsexual? Who would you want to look like if you could change your face? I would like to look like Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, this is what uh, your client wants to look like. Hot! Oh, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. She's someone you'd want to look like, ever? <laughs> no. Would you like a reading? No, I don't, I, don't have my, I don't have any American dollars on me right now. But do I do you have... Do you have any gold jewelry? <laughs> no, I don't, actually. I don't... I don't wear jewellery much. A cheapen someone. It can cheapen a person. Okay, so today is the big day. You ready? Oh, I didn't know you'd be filming in here. Yeah, of course. Um, We're okay. going to be filming the whole thing. Okay. Are you nervous? About the uh, wig? Yeah. Are you nervous yeah, about not yeah. having the wig? It's, I don't wear a wig. This is a coloured medical cap they told me I had to wear. Um, I chose black. So, what do you think about this place, huh? Really creepy, huh? Uh, no, it's fine. It's It creeps it's, me it's, out so bad. This place is so dirty. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was the cheapest one, yeah. so, yeah, it's actually the best one. All right, well, I guess we should just go ahead and get started. No point in talking to you anymore. Ooh. Looking the way you do. I, you know what I mean. Swell. You'll okay, you ready, Dr. Smith? Gonna have the whole world on a plate. You sure she's out? She's 
she's ready for knife, you know. They actually clean the knives here. What business is it of yours? I am the doctor, not you. Well, I was just looking over there and I thought I saw some flies lying around and the shit that you've been cleaning your knives in. You know what, Miss Sims? Yes, Dr. Smith? Today, uh, I got special. It's two for one offer. What are you two doing? No, two no, get that, get that away from me. Get that away from me. No, <laughs> no. Hi there. Harper Sims has asked me to read this letter for you. To all my loyal fans, the woman reading this letter is entirely responsible for this being my last show. Well, it wasn't entirely... She has destroyed my career and, more importantly, my face and voice. A crazed, licenseless fortune teller has cut my vocal cords and transformed my face into a mess of masculinity, which has directly led to my being relieved of my duties as the host of the hit show, Pathetic. Well, you know, we still... Uh... That being said, as I can find no other work, please tell all your friends to come to our nightly variety show, Merman and Marks, at the Lincoln Theater. Sincerely, Harper Sims. And to give you an idea of what we do there, you'll be swell, you'll be great, gonna have the whole world on a plate, starting here, starting now, darling, everything's coming up roses. You know, that's really not necessary for, if we're going to work together, we're teaching you sign language for a reason. Sign language. Use 